Okay guys, so today we are going to paint a hornbill. So, I've already sketched my hornbill out. Let's start painting. I'm using a red in this area. Take some yellow, lemon yellow, and then just we'll leave it a bit darker on the downside, and we'll use light yellow on the top and blend it together with the darker side now for the inner side it's going to be red mild red just give the base red for now When you're doing the fine highlights, you can change your brush to a smaller one and then I want to show like there's a middle line here in the palette, on the palette. so I'm going to highlight this area with a darker color. Okay, the upper part is over. Now once you're happy with that, let's move on to this portion. I'm going to be needing some red again. Now I'm going to be adding some orange here. Just to highlight it a little bit more, I'm just taking a small amount of black in a tiny brush, small size brush. I'm going to go through okay, like that. Let's move on to this portion. So I'm going to be taking yellow, very little amount of yellow. I don't want to take any more colors, so I'm just going to bring this color up. Okay, so now once we're done with this portion, like this, I don't want black, I don't want green, I want dark, blackish green, and here it is. So a color like this will be applying. Do the same for the side but a little bit because the hornbill is turning towards the other side. So this side will be only a little bit shown. Let's cover that area up. Now we're going to work on the eye. 
So the outer ring of the eye is going to be red and orange mix. Once you're done with the outer ring, take black and fill the inner ring. Now once you're done with the inner black layer, we're going to leave the third ring white so let's go to the fourth ring and paint it black okay now once you're done with the eye let's move on to this area your stroke should be in the direction where the feather flows so move downwards like that Keep repeating the same process for the whole body. Okay, so once you're done with the body, we are going to move on to the wing, which is a little bit tricky because this area of the hornbill, there is light falling over it. So the center part of each feather is going to be light color and the edges are going to be dark. So let's see how to do that. Once we're done with that, we're going to do the other half, keeping the color dark. So guys, I repeated the pattern for the feather. I gave darker colors as I came down and left the upper portion bright so that it seems like light is hitting on the feather. And once you're done with the lower portion, that's it. Your hornbill's ready. That's how you easily paint a hornbill. If you like this video, comment on the comment section below. Like the video, share the video and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell button to get notified for more videos. Thank you.